We're about to make some great memories on Mexico's stunning Sea of Cortez for a day filled with all things water and beach related. Muy bueno. This is our awesome host, Scott, who actually set up this entire day. You have a day full of uh, activities for us planned. Well, right now we're uh, here uh, getting clams that we're gonna be making for lunch on Coronado Island Beach a little later today. But be before we get to that, we're gonna do some kayaking around the north side of Coronado Island. We're gonna start out looking at some interesting rock formations, and uh, then we'll come up on a seal colony. This is a nice way to see the landscape. It really is, close isn't up. it? The, the kayak really allows you to kind of get up close and personal with it. There's a little <laughs> tiny baby need, about need. this big right in here. Uh, 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 just touched the back of me. OK, you're like pretty much crafting the near-perfect day for us. We go out, we see the dolphins, amazing bottlenose dolphins, hundreds of them playing in the wake and get in the kayaks, paddle over to the sea lions and the seals in their habitat. That was as close as I've been and that was awesome. Yeah, Thank you it was that. pretty neat, wasn't it? And then paddling across the scenery with the mountain right next to us and all the different colored rocks. This yeah. is really a beautiful, beautiful place. And the island here, this is Coronado? This is Coronado. How many islands surround Loretto? There's 11 islands in total and then there's five that are close in to Loretto here. Tell us about lunch because it looks pretty amazing. Well, today we've got fresh clams that we, the ones we got on the way out here and uh, we have Baja Fish Tacos as our main course. John, I want to introduce you to a really good friend of mine, Enrique Salcido. Nice to meet you, John. It's pleasure pleasure. Nice to meet you, likewise. Nice to meet you. We call him Chief, you hey, can call Chief. him Chief too. <laughs> Hi. Enrique has turned me on to some really great Mexican traditions, and one of them is raw clams. This is the site where you have to start opening them, so it's like this and then you, you pull with the knife, it's already ah. done. So the whole clam meat is like line, a lining on the inside of that shell. That's a pretty big clam, John. Yeah, very yeah, big. <laughs> I'm not sure that one's designed for beginners. Can we cut it in half? <laughs> <laughs> they will move because they're still alive. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. Uno, dos, <laughs> tres. tres. Perfect, mm. perfect. Not bad at all. I think you earned something here. Tequila. Come on over here, Maria. What a day. What a day. It's not over yet, John. We're gonna, from here, we're gonna take you guys back to the hotel. You'll have time for a siesta, and we're gonna cook the catch of the day. Oh, bueno, mas tequila, mas pescado. Si. Sí. Bueno. Enrique was the master on the water. He's actually gonna let me try to feel the power of the kite. You have to hold the bar. It's like a bicycle. So if you wanna go, the, if you wanna move the kite to one side, you have to pull one side of the bar. Okay. And, and the kite will go to one side. The first time you get the kite in the air and you start handling the kite, you, you first have to learn how to handle the kite really good. And maybe it could take you about four to five lessons so your arms straight, 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 there. Most of the time in Loreto, in this spot, the wind is going sideways on the, on the beach, so it's really great because you don't have a, um, to be wor worried about being blown off into the ocean. And I like to come to Loreto to kite because we have some really nice sandy beaches. Most of the time the, the wind picks up really nice, so it's very nice to come to Loreto to kite.
Loretto was the first town in all of Baja California, which is a perfect way to start our tour of Loretto with Cece, who's going to tell us all about this historical quaint fishing village. Well, right behind us, we have the first capital of the Californias, uh, first town to be built in all Baja California. At one point, it was even the capital of Upper California, United States. So the whole West Coast, all the way down. You got it. It all started here. We've read so many amazing things about Loretto, so we, we totally want to see this town. Okay, well, let me take you through a beautiful portion of the vegetation just in the main square that has a lot to do with the name of Loretto, the laurels that we have here. Sounds great. All right, this way. Cece, why Loretto? Why was this the first town in Baja California? Jesuit missionaries really wanted to evangelize this area and the indigenous population was really a marker to figure out how big the peninsula was. I mean, was it an island or was it part of Mexico? And the island was Calafia, and now it's Baja California. Oh, California, Calafia. Exactly. It's coming together. Yeah. So what's next? Well, we're gonna have a really special treat right now, and that is making really traditional Mexican food here. Uh, tortilla making. Oh, I like this place. Yeah. Very colorful. Right? And it's made from adobe, so it's uh, also historical for the area. Nice. Yeah. Rosa, Hola. I present a John. John, Rosa. Hola. So show us how the dough is made, please. Yes, please. Harina, the flour, okay. some oil, and salt. A little bit of salt, okay. Okay, so you know what's in it. Now we just gotta learn how to flatten it out, right? A ver, dinos como. How tell us how. You gotta roll it a bit. Ah, flatten out on the edges. When you think it's too big for your hands, and you start doing this little thing. Ah, look at her trick. She, uh, Yours is enough. way better than mine. Put it, just lay it down. It's not very, it's not very round, but the flavor is the one that counts. Yeah. It's better than mine, Rosa. Enough? Enough? You think I'm good? They got the peanut gallery over here. Gracias. Muchas gracias. <laughs> tomato. Sounds good. Tomato. Mm -hmm. So you have now a fish taco with beans. Bueno. Gracias. Uh -huh. Con salsa. Mm. So now that we've fed you, it's time to dig in some history. This uh, mission was started off with just a smaller room back in 25th October 1697 with uh, the beautiful um, Holy Mary of Loreto from Loreto, Italy. And we are blessed with having her still. Uh, the Marine Park of Loreto doesn't have any more uh, corals, because you're looking at them. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. The traditional name of Loreto is Loreto Concho. So you have Loreto, an evangelized name, and Concho, a name that refers to the seashells. I want you to try my favorite place. This place has the most delicious ice cream I've ever had since I was in fourth grade. That sounds perfect on a hot day, too. A lot of people come here. We have the people of Loreto, the residents are from uh, Canada, United States. And so good, I bet. And yeah, they're out there. Hola. 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 So you see what a perfect way to end the walking tour. On the rooftop of La Mission, our beautiful hotel with the sunset. And with a great view of our town that really hasn't changed in 300 years. It's a very quiet town. It's a very safe place to be. So yeah. thank you so much for having us. We love it here. Situated near the southern tip of Baja California Sur, La Paz is a seaside paradise. Warm Pacific breezes, sunsets over rippled waters, and a rich fabric of local culture combine to make La Paz an ideal vacation spot. For more information on La Paz and other Mexico destinations, visit alaskaair.com today and book your vacation. It's lunchtime in La Paz, and the crew is hungry. I'm with my new friend, Veronica, and we're gonna talk about food in La Paz. Let's start out here. We're at Bismarckcito. When we were planning this trip, everyone said you have to come to Bismarckcito. What's special about this place? Well, this is a must-stop 
for uh, La Paz and Baja California Sur. As you can see in here, we have a variety of uh, seafood. We have a plethora of seafood. I think we have every kind of seafood on the table. Everything, and everything is from here, from the Sea of Cortez. That's wonderful, so it's very fresh. They got the food here every morning. And uh, this, this restaurant, it's a uh, big tradition of La Paz. It had a great history, right? It started yes. with a food cart, basically. Exactly. It started in 1968, has always belonged to the same family. They started uh, with a, just with a cart that you can see in here, with, uh, that they serve tacos, different kind of tacos, shrimp, oyster, uh, octopus. Now, the, the food in La Paz, we've mm -hmm. been here for a couple days now. Every restaurant we've gone to is fantastic. You don't see fast food chains lining the streets. You have a lot of really good exactly. La Paz restaurants. Exactly. I will, I will call it high quality, you know, uh, everywhere, even in the little restaurants. You know, and uh, for instance, uh, the steaks that uh, we tried the oh, other day. So you know? good, the buffalo. The buffalo, buffalo barbecue. So yummy. Oh yeah. It and is Italian, so yummy. we had great Italian last night. Yes, and a wonderful, also, wine cellar to do the maridaje, you know, with the food. I so, like it. Yes, it's just like a, a secret of La Paz, the gastronomy. It's you know? really good. And uh, when the people come, the tourists come, they can discover that secret. It's a Friday night in La Paz, and we're kicking off our night here at the jungle. We're going to experience nightlife La Paz style with some tequila, some cervezas, some new friends, and who knows where the night will take us. Salud. What is this bar known for? For tequila, for the rock music. We have the Thursday for ladies' night. Maybe the people come here. Yeah. Ah, nice. <laughs> Ladies, night is night Thursday, yeah. Is there a drink that the jungle's known for? Yeah, we have one, one special drink. It's called Goodbye Mother. <laughs> you want taste? You yeah. want? Okay. It's vodka, tequila, rum, Sprite, lemon juice. Our next stop on our La Paz nightlife tour, Casa de Villa. They're making a special drink for us. Apparently, it's a very famous drink here. I don't know why. We're about to find out. Okay, la bebida es famosa porque está preparada. It's a very famous booze here in the Baja. It's made from the root of a plant. This plant is called Damiana. It's very famous because it is uh, the popular believing that the women uh, who had some trouble when they want to get pregnant, they drink this, this booze and they got pregnant. That's why this is a form, you know, like a, like a lady. So am I gonna get pregnant if I drink this tonight? No, no te va a embarazar, pero es un trago aprodisiaco. It's not gonna make you pregnant, but maybe a little bit <laughs> because it's, a, it's like an aphrodisiac drink. Aphrodisiac? Yeah. Aphrodisiac, yeah, aphrodisiac. Yeah. So it's gonna make me Yeah, maybe, so I'm gonna stay away from you a little bit. <laughs> You're pretty good looking, Victor. It's a little bit. <laughs> Salud. The other bars we've been to tonight have been kind of big and loud and whistles blowing ever, which is fun, but this is really nice too. It's a very quaint feel. That's part of the idea of the design of the place is having a different place, uh, you know, comfortable with good prices. Uh, we have a lot of original drinks from the house. Well, so. that was my next question. <laughs> Every place we've, we've been, they've made us their special drink. Do you guys have a special drink? He's already preparing four of them for you. Four of them? Yeah, four different drinks for you. Well, I think we had a good time tonight in La Paz, huh? Sure, man. Good nightlife here. Now, most good nightlifes end at a karaoke bar in La Paz is no different. We're heading into Sinatra. We're going to leave you guys here. Hasta la vista, baby. It's a beautiful day in La Paz, and we're about to have a city walking tour with my buddy Victor here, Hi. who works for tourism. And uh, first of all, this is kind of a nice little area here. That we're in downtown La Paz, pigeons flying everywhere, people everywhere, music. We're at the center, at the heart of my city, La Paz. Be welcome to it. And over there, we got the mission, 
This mission was founded in 1535 uh, by the Jesuits. And this building here used to house the government. Yeah, lots this of is, big decisions happened. This here. is, you know, like the Capitol building, 1881 till 1981. All right, Victor, I'm not exactly the Spanish-speaking expert, but I think I know what this means. Centro Cultural La Paz. This is the cultural center of La Paz, right? This is it, yeah, you're right. And actually, this is like a museum right now. This used to be the city hall of the, of the city. Not, right now, it's just a museum. So this building is absolutely beautiful, but there's a, this is kind of sprinkled in with some new stuff right now. There's a hot dog stand over here. They didn't have those back in the 1500s. There's a lot of <laughs> new sure. shops. Yeah, you want to get a scuba diving? Let's go to a shop. You want to surf? There's a surf shop cool. in case. But actually, there's a craft shop I want to take you to. Sounds good. Yeah, let's go and let's check it out. So this is where it all happens. This is the Malacan. Yes, it is. Everything happens here. There's people biking, skateboarding, roller skating. And there's statues with guys with boats. Yep. <laughs> this is called the, the Old Man and the Sea. We got a nice poem right here in front of us, too. Let's yeah. Go ahead and recite that for us. <laughs> really? Yeah. In Spanish? In Spanish. El viejo y el mar. Tengo un barco de papel. Está hecho de una página. It talks about a, a fisherman who's waiting for his boat made of paper. This is it. And he wants to sail through the seven seas. Okay. In his paper boat. This guy right here. Yeah. The Sea of Cortez is just gorgeous. Your downtown is, is fantastic, and I think we should get up high. I know the perfect place. I feel very fortunate. We started the walking tour walking around downtown, and now we're on top of a building, which I understand you never bring guys up to the top of the building. It's only like hot chicks. So yeah, I feel very only special. Girls. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're more than welcome. What are we seeing here? Well, we're in downtown, and there's the cathedral. Just enjoy the view. Yeah. 